This is an amazing story. Our next guest is a mailman who became a hero when he saved the life of a one-year-old baby on his delivery route. From Greenville, South Carolina, please welcome Stephanie and her son, Eli, and the mailman who came to the rescue, Chris. Stephanie, tell everybody what happened. Well, it was a Friday afternoon, and Eli had been sick that day, and he was just snacking on some puffs and somehow got the wrapping off of the container. And so I had just turned my back for a second, and he had torn off a piece of his teeth. Of the plastic. Of the plastic. So my immediate was I tried to stick my finger in there and swoop it out, but I was very cautious because I didn't want to push it back too far. Um, and so he swallowed it and started choking. Um, and so I just turned him around and started beating him on the back between his shoulder blades, but it wasn't coming out, and so that's kind of... Um, when I started to panic. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine a scarier thing. You're by yourself with your baby, and your baby's choking. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter how long, if it was 30 seconds or 10 seconds, or it, it just must feel like an eternity. When yeah, it did. It did. So, so then you thought your husband was coming home. Yeah. I, so I, whenever I was patting him on the back, I thought I had heard my husband pull up. So I was running towards the door. And this probably had only been maybe 10 seconds at most. Um, and so I ran out the door screaming for help. <laughs> and um, it was our mailman, who I had never met before. You've never met him before. No. <laughs> um, coming towards my door. So I was just screaming for help, and there he was. So Chris, you see a woman running out uh, screaming and holding a baby. Right. And did, I think she just put him in your arms. Did, did you, or what happened? Well, the first impression I got when I first seen her running out, I thought to run because I didn't know <laughs> what was happening. Someone right. was behind her. So, yeah. But then really seriously, when she screamed and she said, my baby's not breathing, the baby is choking, I was like, I just said, what? And she said, he's not breathing, he's choking, help me. And so next thing I know, he was kind of in my arms. And I took my two fingers, and I knew he was kind of small. So I started giving him the compressions. And the first five that I did, um, it, I didn't feel anything. And right. I knew babies breathe through their diaphragm a lot, and it was just nothing. So I said, I got to do it again. I did it again. And that fifth pump, it just, everything just came out. And then his eyes got kind of big, and he looked at me. I guess he said, hey, you're not my mommy. <laughs> and he just started well, and I was like, it sounded like music to my ears, yeah. like Marvin Gaye or something. Uh -huh. What a blessing that was, the timing of that, that you, I mean, how long had you been on your shift at that point? What happened was earlier, about 30 minutes earlier, I received help from another carrier named Angel. And she came and took some of my mail, and that delayed me about three or four minutes. And it just happened that time, it was just, God just set it up. Where it, it certainly just, was. Perfect. It absolutely was. That was yeah. just a beautiful moment. Because you do have to be careful because they're so tiny, you can't compress too hard yes. or else you're going to break a rib. When's the last time you had training in this? Wow. Well, I first learned in the military, which was maybe 25 years ago, in the Marine Corps. And like I said, it wasn't me. I believe it was a higher force that just guided me. Yep. And the ancestors just made me be calm because I was very calm. And <laughs> after he started breathing and he started crying, I said, Mom, He's okay, he's okay, he's breathing. And she was just like, you know, really just hugging him and oh. thank you so much. And so uh. Yeah, you must have sat on the floor and cried for a long time after <laughs> I did. he left. I yeah. did. Well, um, it was divine intervention for sure. That was a beautiful so. thing. Uh, don't ever let another mail, mail carrier be on your route. <laughs> no, never. Because this is the guy that you want. Yeah. Um, we got you a, a gift, uh, Stephanie. People oh. should know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's your new that mailbox. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Look, Eli. <laughs> That's your new mailbox. So Chris is a government employee. Of course, we were dying to, to help you in any way we wanted. We right. want to shower you with gifts, but you're not allowed to yeah, receive a gift over $20, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, it seems so unfair. But our tickets here are free, and in December, we have really fun shows. And so mm -hmm. we thought maybe we'd bring you back to one of those shows in December where it's the 12 days of giveaways, or maybe, maybe more than that. <laughs> All right. Maybe you should come back with him, too. Oh, well, then, All yeah, right. sure. So, yeah, y'all should come back. So we'll see uh, y'all back here for 12 days okay. of giveaways in December. Wow. Thanks so yes. much. Thanks for sharing your story.